hi there. I was about to install the blade to my laser to cut vinyl. Hi, I'm Betsy. I'm a passionate DIYer and crafter. And yes, this is the X Tool M1 laser. It cuts an engraved wood and other materials in addition of having a blade to cut vinyl adhesive and HTV. And today we are going to make a t-shirt using HTV. Let me show you the materials. For this project, we're going to need a t-shirt. Mine is 100% cotton. And when you press vinyl, you can use any type. It can be polyester or cotton. And we're going to need the light grip X tool mat for our project. In addition to the blade holder and a blade. We will also need some kind of tool to weed our vinyl. And for this project, I want to use a HTV or heat transfer vinyl. Remember that it's shiny side down on your mat. And finally, to press our design, we're going to need a nylon or a heat press. An important tip is to always mark the clear cover of your mats. I like to write the word X tool to the top liner and the word back to the back liner. We're ready to start our project, but I want to top blades for a little bit. With the difference between the 45 degree angle blade and the 60 degree angle blade. For this project, we're going to use the 45 degree angle because our material is not very thick. The 60 degrees blade is good for thicker materials. And here is how you're supposed to install the blade inside the blade housing. I will also demonstrate how to put the blade housing inside your machine, so no worries. And did you know that you can adjust how far out is your blade? Just turn the top and the bottom and you'll see the blade going out and in slowly if you've been using your machine to cut wood or other materials make sure to clean the base plate before applying your mat to install your blade you can feel the hole under the laser head and just install the blade housing it is magnetic so it should stay there let's see it again in and out very easy Remove the clear film from the mat and place your heat transfer vinyl. Again, remember that heat transfer vinyl is shiny side down because your image is going to be mirrored. Now remove the bottom film to be able to stick your mat inside your machine. I uploaded my design to the X Tool Create Space program, and now I'm going to choose Blade Cut on the right side panel. And by doing so, you will see that your design are going to change colors. Because when you're going to cut on heat transfer vinyl, the designs needs to be mirrored. Select your design to be able to see the reflect option at the top panel of the designing software. And mirror your design horizontally. Before cutting any design with my blade, I like to test the cuts, so I add a shape 
to a corner of the design to make sure it's going to cut properly. I selected a rectangular shape. But before you send this design, make sure to turn off output to the main design. What it means is that only the rectangular shape is the one that's going to cut. And before we send that image to test, we need to change uh, the material uh, type that we have. So in this case, it's heat transfer vinyl. So we're going to change, uh, use that one. And if, in any case, you need to adjust those uh, settings, you can use your um, parameters in which I'm going to do it because this is going to be cut in liter HTV, which is a little thicker. So I'm going to uh, up a little bit of the pressure. I already test this uh, vinyl before. And for this, instead of using the regular heat transfer vinyl, I use my, uh, I change the parameters and I use 120 uh, cup pressure and 40 uh, for the speed. So let's see how this cuts. It cut it perfectly, so that means that we can send our main design. Now remove your material and it's time to read your sign. Now with your sign, take in any excess and be careful not to damage any inside letters or miss the little parts like the top of the eye. Now we are going to press it on our shirt. Always pre-press your shirts. That will avoid any humidity or wrinkles. To be able to center my design, I fold my design at the top a little bit, a little notch to make sure that that's the center. And if you look closer, I took the top of one eye off and I'm gonna tell you later why I'm doing that. Press by using the settings of your heat transfer vinyl. Mine is cold peel, so I waited until it was cold and removed the transfer sheet. For the top of the first eye, I cut a little heart to add a little fun detail to this design. An important detail is that not all glitter HTV can be layered. So follow the instructions of the brand that you're using. That's it. I'm gonna find a, do a final press and this is ready to use. Thanks for watching and happy crafting.